Hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road. I think it might be time for some more babies. Chloe's udder is looking pretty full, so I wanna make sure that the second kid install is ready and um, probably get her in there. I think it's that time. Here, Robbie. You come in there and start cleaning out in that corner entirely so that I can clean all this out here. I'm gonna close this just for a minute so I can clean this. You mean without a horn, silly? Anybody have this fog problem with dust masks? That one. Here, shift the kids. Mama, I want to get out. I can do it. Watch me. I can take it out for you. Well, it's 11 p.m. I just checked TV for the last time. Ligaments still feel pretty firm, but man, that udder, holy cow. I put her in a kid stall just in case and have the monitor on her, her bleh, have the monitor on her. So I'm gonna go to bed, I'll check her early in the morning unless I hear something in the meantime. Well, it's Friday morning. As you can see, it's snowing. We got a couple inches of snow overnight. Hearing a lot of noise off and on from Stevie on the monitor. Kenny woke me up a couple times. I was like, go check her. Uh, but nothing. Um, just came out to check her because it did sound like she was really grunting on the monitor, but no discharge, nothing's looking uh, open so we've still got some time and I mean it this time <laughs> Robbie's gonna hang out with her for a little bit and uh, I'm gonna go make breakfast Apparently we're making this a Friday night tradition where uh, we have babies here in the barn. Stevie's having a contraction right now. I need to time them and see how close they are together. But if you listen closely, you can hear her grunting. There you go. It's okay. The good news is I'm not all alone this time. And I believe that she's in active labor, so I'm not gonna leave and miss it. Okay, girl. Mm. Down? Okay. 
See those cute little babies? You can have cute little babies like that. Yeah. I think I'm going to get my coveralls on before I get super cold. Okay. Can I come Oh, yeah. She got real wide there. No, I meant the one in the belly. Oh, yeah. They're moving. I keep feeling that one, too. All right, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, you're doing a good job, baby. You're doing a good job. You got close that time. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, looks like we got feet. Yeah, that's a girl. I know, I know, I know. It's hard. I know, baby. I know, I know. We're getting there. You're doing it, baby. You're doing it. You're doing it. You want me to okay. get the birthing kit? It's okay, Robbie. So, so far we've got some feet coming out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's the feet. That's good, baby girl. You're going the right way, okay? You got feet coming out. I know, honey. Yeah, keep pushing. Keep pushing, baby. I know, baby. I know. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, baby. You can, do it. you can do it. I know. I know, baby. You can do it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. I know. Keep pushing. You can do this. It's okay. Just relax, Robbie. It's cool. Cleaned off. There you go. There you go. Here comes the next one. 
Ah. <laughs> Stevie, you're doing a great job. She's a good mama. Doing a great job, Stevie. That one's still not, not, not having them? No, it's just the sack. We're good. Okay. So are they boy or girl? I didn't even look at it. <laughs> <laughs> we, got, we got a lot of time for that, Robbie. Yeah, we just got to make sure these babies are okay first. Is that a yolk on them? Oh, kind of. It's amniotic fluid. Mm -hmm. I'd say by, you know, 8.50, if she's not pushing out another baby or the afterbirth. That's what we need to watch for. Yeah. It's the umbilical cord there. The umbilical cord's there. There you go. You are a wild one, huh? You don't want to roll over for mama. What are you? Oh, I think you're a little buck. How about this little baby here, too? There you go. There you go, Mama. Yeah, just plug it in down there. You are helpful. I'll plug it in. We, we are helpful. You are helpful. This is amazing when there are other people here. Hey, Mama. How are um, you feeling right now? Good. Those are some big babies Those this girl just had. Babies. I'll tell you though, Stevie, if you have a big baby first, the rest are easier. My knee is, is not for nursing. Look at him go. You all right, Chloe? Okay, girl. Everything is good. Hey, big man. That is, I am not your mama. Just let me know, I am not your mama. Two gigantic babies. Yeah, they were. We'll give these little guys some Bosi. Some what? Some Bosi. Okay. So it's selenium and vitamin E, so they're not so wobbly. Although these guys look pretty darn strong. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Uh, I'm gonna give Stevie some warm water. Usually you do it with molasses. I don't have molasses at the moment. I'm gonna use corn syrup. You want that, baby? How 
looking on umbilical cords here. How about you, buddy? How's your umbilical cord? <laughs> Yours could get shortened a little. Yours could get shortened a little. Come here, Mama. I know, you don't like to cooperate for Mama. <laughs> Mama's boy. We got two boys. Right? Two boys. Two big boys. Yeah. yeah. This is exciting. How about it? Just a little jumpstart probiotic gel. It's good for mama too after labor. You want this, Stevie? Hmm? Yeah. Kind of looked like a grape. All right, Stevie. You ready to get up, mama? These kiddos are going to be hungry. No, she was working on the afterbirth. Should we be sitting on it? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to put her in there until I know the afterbirth is out. Right. Large. Well, if she hasn't passed the afterbirth yet. Yeah. I'm still in there. My hands are shaking. Oh, so cold. <laughs> nope, you almost moved. Tell who the mom or the daddy was. Yes, you can. I mean, they don't look nothing like you, Stevie. <laughs> this one got a smidge of brown from her. Just a smidge. Is she getting anything out of there? Oh, there we go. Is that it coming out? Yeah, there's probably more. Oh, have a snack, yeah. <laughs> well, you'd be hungry. Sure. Okay, maybe I could take this in here with your babies. I'm trying desperately to get uh, Stevie to nurse, but she won't nurse right now. Took a while for her uh, afterbirth to come out, uh, but it finally came out. I think it's been, what would you say, Courtney, about an hour? Since the last kid was born? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so about an hour since the last kid was born. Then the afterbirth came out, um, but she's, she's still not having it. And we tried to hold her um, because we got some advice from fellow goat folks. Uh, that, that didn't take either. She's cleaning up the babies pretty good. But uh, still not really having it. I gave them each a little colostrum gel, so I'm going to let them all rest and then come back out and try again. Sometimes it's best for everybody just to get a little sleep. Yeah. And she's licking them. Yeah, she's so definitely she's not, taking care of them. She's not turning them away. I am very happy to introduce you to Lindsay Buckingham of Fleetwood Mac fame. Very appropriate to continue the Fleetwood Mac theme from Stevie Nicks. Say hi, buddy. He was our first little buck ever born on Beagle Road, and he's going to be a future herd sire here. He's got pretty blue eyes and a nice straight top line and um, thinks everything is food, don't you? 
took him a bit to get the hang of uh, where he was supposed to be nursing from, you know, not Kenny's knee or Stevie's face or anywhere else, but he is doing super well. This is Rhiannon, not a buckling. So little little mishap there when I was looking in the barn, but uh, this is Stevie's little doling. Yeah. Also named in the Fleetwood Mac theme, this time from a song. And she is just fantastic. She got Stevie's nice long length and um, she's a vocal one. They're doing great, Stevie's doing great. I could not be more thrilled with how everything is going with these babies and we're super excited that Carly is next and then we get to announce who the fathers are. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more of these beautiful babies.